up, world? It's decent here, back with another Pop Dust exclusive, and my guest at this time burnt up the TV waves with her appearance on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood last season, but, you know, she's more than just a reality personality. She's a dancer, she's an activist, she's a singer. We're here to talk about her new project, Never Fold, which is dedicated to hating laundry, I'm assuming. <laughs> Laundry. I'm not gonna lie to you, but the project is not talking about laundry. Oh, okay. but I do hate folding laundry. Well, there we go, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Funny. Give it up for La Brittany. <laughs> what up, though? What's good with you? She said, "What up, though?" You know what she from, right? <laughs> three one three. What's going on? Day two. Thank you for stopping by. I know it's cold as hell out here, yeah. but you should be used to that being from Detroit. But sure, it's colder in Detroit right now. It's so cold in the deep. Mm -hmm. So. Busy year for you last year. Yes, very yeah. busy year. Love and hip hop. We had the vintage, mm -hmm. and now we got Never Fold. Mm -hmm. Um, I toured after Love and Hip Hop with Aaron Ray. Yeah, it was a really productive year last year. Right. Um, video with Cash Doll almost had a million views. Yeah, acting funny. Dope song by the way. So, Thank you. tell us what last year was like for you because you know. No love and hip hop exposed you to a wide audience, but you've been doing your thing for a while. So, what's the claim and what's the buzz been for the Britney ever since hopping on TV? Um. Well, the TV show definitely like opened up my audience. Now I, I can't really go too many places without people like, what's your name? You little Britney? Is that the Britney from Love and Hip Hop? You know, it's like they're everywhere now. But <laughs> it's a blessing though, you know, because my, my social media numbers have grown, my streaming numbers have grown, everything is going up, and that's the goal. Awesome, awesome. So, with being on a show like Love and Hip Hop, it kind of gets a bad rap, but people tend to ignore the fact that it's entertaining. You right. know? Has there been any challenges, you know, trying to get people to understand that, hey, this is a TV show, you know, this is more important for me to get myself out there, this isn't a full embodiment who I am as a person, as an artist, has that been a challenge for you? Well, people who know me, you know what I'm saying, have been following me, because before I love hip hop, I've been doing music, right. um, I've had a following way before I started doing a show, you, you know? You've been videos, you know, mm -hmm. and my own music videos, I have my Lamex videos, really viral content. My followers found out I was going to be on the show. I did take a lot of slack for it. They're like, no, Brittany, why are you doing this? You're too good for this. Mm. You know, but I had to show them, like, look, I can do anything and you're still going to love me because no matter what I'm doing, I'm going to always be with Brittany. You know, and people, they can only work with what you give them. So if you right. get on there and you act a damn fool, then you're going to look a fool, you know? So my Season of Love and Hip Hop, for me, it was a very successful season, and I wouldn't change it. Big fan. <laughs> big, big fan. But um, with all of this notoriety, like you said, people knowing who you are, people recognize you, does it lend yourself to you know you being a role model in some capacity? Because I feel like one of the hard things about being a black woman in entertainment is the fact that you guys aren't awarded the luxury to have a duality. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't, you know, talk about, you know, feminine empowerment, but you can't shake your ass at the same time. At least that's what society says. Do you feel that's one of the battles that you're fighting, you know, being an artist that has, you know, that certain kind of content, but still being an activist? No, I don't fight that content, you know, because at the end of the day, it's like, yes, I am a role model, but I'm LaBritton. I'm a grown woman. I have kids. I shake my ass. I cuss. I smoke weed. Like, you have to accept me as I am. Mm -hmm. Um... But I also empower women. I also uplift women. I also give back to my community. I also speak for teenage mothers and um, women who, you know, women who are just like me. So it's like being in this industry, being a role model, it's like that kind of what comes along with this. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's like you don't have to be perfect to be a role model. I think exactly. what really makes a role model is people seeing you make the mistakes and correcting them and them just kind of following your path as you grow and them being inspired by your growth and, you know, like, looking up to that. That's what a role model is. Yeah, you be flawed as well and you better get 
yourself as well. Like, don't let the fame, you know, fool you. I'm still a regular person. Exactly. Talk about the project because project definitely has some bite to it. And I mean that in the most complimentary way because, you know, talking your shit, you know, mm-hmm. first track, out the gate, you know, what was what was the process like putting this project together, especially with, you know, you having more eyes on Lou Britney because of Love and Hip Hop? What was the mentality going into putting this body of work together? Most of the records on that project I wrote before I even started filming Love and Hip Hop. Mm. And it was during a time when really, like, I was in a really kind of like a, a dark place, you know? Like, it wasn't... It wasn't easy for me when I was writing on songs. I didn't have anything but my music to vent to. So that's why a lot of those records feel very personal is because they are. Mm. And um, Never Fold, the cover art is really my favorite. You know, I'm a Gemini one. So the cover art represents like me perfectly. But more importantly, it shows that like from the outside looking in, things can look so good. You smiling, but like, Behind closed doors, people don't know that you're going through these struggles. You know, it's a straight face. It's like, Mm -hmm. you don't, like, I'm not smiling behind these closed doors. You feel me? Like, this shit ain't easy. Right. And it's funny because the the ID picture where I'm smiling, that's when I finally got my license. My license will always be suspended, bro. I was always getting tickets. My license was always fucking suspended. Finally, I got my license. And when I went into the Secretary of State to take that ID picture, I was so happy. You know, I, I fought through it like I didn't fold. I came up with all the money. I got rid of all the restrictions. They was trying to hold me back from getting my license and being able to hit the road. <laughs> <laughs> but I got that shit done. I ain't fold, you know. So, never fold. This is definitely, like, a project that means a lot to me. And I, what I'm seeing, the feedback from Fly Nation is... It is motivating to them. The music, the songs motivates them. It inspires them, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm grateful because when I wrote the music, I was pouring my heart and telling my true story into those songs. Definitely. So to kind of touch on, you know, you having, you know, this fan base and this legion of fans that follow you, what's it like, you know, kind of sort of having, you know, a core group follow you? you know, through ups and downs, through trials and tribulations, like, and how does that motivate you to, you know, do more as not just a personality, but, you know, as an artist and, you know, just a black woman in general? You know, they put the pressure on me. (laughs) They put the pressure on me, you know, it's like a blessing, though, because as an independent artist, I've been able to grow this core audience, Mm -hmm. you know, so it's people that I know really rock with who I am, La Britney. It's regardless, you know, they love everything that I do and they're going to support everything that I do. And when it get tough for me and I want to say, forget it all, you know, it's like I can't because these people are there rooting for me. Like they are, they really are looking for my next move. You know what I'm saying? They're really inspired by the things that I do. And so really it's a blessing, you know, because... I do this, I'm an independent artist, I don't have no label, you know, spewing millions of dollars into me, so to be able to have a core audience that's going to support my music, that's going to tune in to the things that I'm doing, I mean, you know, La Nation, what up though, like, y'all hold me down, I hold y'all down, that's what it's all about. So, once again, huge year last year, what's on the horizon for 2019? Mm, So, I'm working on the music. Um, I'll be hitting the road again, touring again. That experience was really a dope experience. It was so cool to be able to go from state to state. Mm -hmm. And all these people knew my music. They were all fans. You know, it it was inspiring because it's like, man, this shit started in the basement of my apartment. And now to be able to literally, like, travel the world doing what I love to do. And the people love it, too. It's such such a beautiful feeling. So this year, it's like, I'm... I'm doing the same thing I've been doing for the last eight years. We just gonna do it even better, you know? And as far as loving hip hop, I don't know, y'all gotta tune in to see. But you know, oh yeah, no sex all 2019. Are you talking me? Or oh, that's you that's it's you a challenge, are you gonna join it? <laughs> or is it too late? <laughs> listen, listen. I live with a black woman. I want you to go tell her that I 
as the way we are for the rest of the year and see how she responds. I mean, y'all, y'all, y'all got your little thing going. I mean, I'm know. just saying, you know, <laughs> I don't want, you know, if you are going to be back on Love and Hip Hop for us to be watching and then your face pop up and then she going to throw something at the TV because... Ooh, you, she ain't got none. Yeah. It's that like, damn little Britney. <laughs> But no, yeah, 2019, last year, um, it was an amazing year for me. It was life changing. So 2019, I'm, I'm totally like, it's starting to break. Look, I'm here with you. I just thought great as well. <laughs> She's here with me. But, but Brittany, thank you so much for stopping by. Where can people find you on social media? Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, all that. It's LaBrittany, L-A-B-R-I-T-N-E-Y underscore. Make sure y'all check out my new EP, Never Fold, streaming everywhere. iTunes, Tidal, Spotify, all those good places. And I just dropped this bomb-ass lipstick. You see me wearing it. It's called Ooh La La. Mm-hmm. It's on my Instagram page, too. So, yeah, I got a lot of dope things you guys can get into. So, get into it. Well, with that said... I'm decent. This has been another Pop Dust exclusive. Shout out to LaBrittany for joining us. Make sure you follow us on all social media at Pop Dust. Make sure you visit our website at popdust.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and make sure you click the little bell to stay notified and we will see you soon. Peace.